Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today is day 17 of our new year, new yogi challenge. And today we are moving up to our heart chakra. We've been kind of slowly moving through the chakras as we um, move through our practice. We, in the last one we did was our solar plexus. So now we're up in our heart chakra. <clears throat> <clears throat> and of course your heart chakra is responsible for love so we're just going to go through a flow that activates your heart chakra so some chest opening and um, poses like that that open up the heart and open up the chest so today we're going to do a fairly simple mudra which is the Anjali mudra the Anjali mudra is just your hands at heart center so let's close our eyes down and start with a little bit of breath Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. One more deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. And then come back to your natural breath. We're just spending these first few moments preparing our minds and our bodies for this heart chakra practice. Well, we will open our hearts to give and receive love more openly and more freely. Take another deep inhale and exhale. Our next inhale, sweep the arms up. Let's interlace the fingers, press the palms away. Make sure you're sitting nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right side. Left hand outside of right knee. Right fingertips will face the wall behind you. You can look straight ahead or let your gaze follow this back shoulder. Inhale, center. Interlace those fingers, press the palms away again. Exhale, twist to the right. Right hand outside of left knee. Left fingertips face the wall behind you. Looking straight ahead or letting your gaze follow the left shoulder. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away. Exhale, bring the hands behind the head and we'll work into some seated cat cow. So we're going to take an inhale, open the elbows, arch the spine, lift the chin up towards the sky. Exhale, round the spine, bring the chin down to the chest, bring those elbows close together. Good. Inhale back to that first position. Exhale to the second position. Let's do a couple more rounds on your own with your own breath. Good. Come back to neutral. Release the hands. Let's come up to hands and knees in a table position. Big toes together, knees wide. Float the hips back towards the heels for Balasana, Child's Pose. Extend the arms forward. Melt the chest down in between the knees. Melt the heart down towards your mat. Remember, you can always bring a pillow underneath your hips if you need to. Good. 
Uh, again, inhale. Exhale, float your body forward to a table position. Walk your hands back a couple inches. Let's rock back and forth over the hands for a quick wrist stretch. You can make circles around the wrist as well, moving to one side and then the other. Good. Come back to neutral. We'll make our way up to our first down dog. So tucking our toes under, lifting our hips up and back. Press your chest towards your thighs. Press your heels towards the ground. And then you could take a moment to pedal your feet out. Good. Like an inhale. Exhale, float your body forward to plank. We're going to move into wild things. So I'll give you a couple options for wild thing. Option one, bring your left knee down, kick it perpendicular to the side of your mat. Right leg extends to the side, right arm extends up and back. Option two, we bend at the right knee, step it over the right foot, left leg extended, right arm extends up and back, Press those hips up. So pick whichever version works for you. Press those hips up here in your wild thing. Let that left shoulder be over the left hand. Inhale. Exhale, bring the right hand down. Come back to plank or come to a table position. And then we'll step our right foot up in between our hands. So however you can make it to this position is just fine. And then we'll sweep our arms up for a low lunge. If it feels okay, you can let the hands meet and maybe find a small back bend here. Inhale. Good. From here, we'll release our right hand down to the ground, our right fingertips. If you need to put a block there to rest your fingertips on, that's fine. Left arm will reach up and over towards the right. See if you can lift your gaze up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, lower the left hand down. Come back to a lunge position. And then we'll make our way back to down dog. However you get there works fine. Taking a couple breaths here. We'll get ready to move into those poses on the other side. So take an inhale. Exhale, float your body forward. If you're modifying, you rest the right knee down, kick it to the side. Left leg extends to straight, left arm extends up and back. If you are doing the full version, Kamakarasana wild thing, you bend your left knee, bring it left toes over to the right side, right leg is extended, left arm reaches up and back, press those hips up, bring the right hand over the right wrist. Good. Inhale, exhale, come to plank or a table position. Step the left foot up in between the hands. Lower the right knee down. Sweep the arms up here for Anjaniyasana, low lunge. If you want to, you can let the hands meet. Find a small back bend. Inhale, exhale, lower the left fingertips down. Reach over to the left. Maybe you can lift your gaze up towards the sky. Good. Inhale. 
Exhale, lower the right hand down. Make your way back to down dog. However you get there is fine. Taking a couple breaths here. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, drop down to the knees. Walk the hands forward. And we're going to melt our chest down towards the ground for puppy pose. So see if you can keep your gaze forward. Push the tailbone up and away. Melt your heart down towards your mat. Good. If it starts to become intense, feel free to come out of the pose. And inhale. Exhale. Walk the hands back. Bring the knees close together. Sit the hips back towards the heels and wrap the arms around for a close knee version of child's pose. Take an inhale, exhale, float your body back to a table position. We'll make our way down to a seat. However you get there works just fine. Bring the feet flat on the ground in front of you and then float your body back onto your forearms. I'm going to move into fish pose. So the beginner version of fish pose is just to stay here on your forearms. Let the head fall back. You can keep the knees bent with the feet flat. If you want a little more, you can extend the legs to straight. Let the head fall back. If you want more than that, you can lower down more and bring the top of the head to the mat. Whichever one you do, just make sure you're being very careful with your head and with your neck. Spend a couple more breaths here. Inhale, exhale, go ahead and come all the way down to your back safely. And we'll hug our knees into our chest for Apanasana. Rock side to side here. You can move those knees in a circle. Come back to center. From here, we'll let both knees come up above the hips. So knees over the hips. And then both knees will fall over to the right side. You can cactus your left elbow. Use this right hand outside of the left leg. Looking straight up to the ceiling or over to the left. Inhale, exhale back to center, let's do the other side, knees over hips, let both knees fall over to the left side, cactus the right elbow to the side, looking straight up or over to the right. Inhale, 
exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Rock side to side. One more time. Inhale, squeeze the knees in. Exhale, release to Shavasana. Feet can reach the bottom corners of your mat. Arms at your sides, palms facing upward. You can also come to a seated position if you like. And once you get comfortable, we'll come back to those long, slow breaths. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Second deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out the mouth. One more deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out the mouth. And begin to come back to your natural breath again. Allowing your body to melt down into your mat as you relax with each breath. And while you are here, I will say some heart chakra affirmations to you, which you can repeat silently to yourself. I love myself. My heart is open to give and receive love. I attract the love I deserve. Take an inhale, breathe in those affirmations. Exhale, if you're laying down, roll over onto your favorite side, using your arm as a pillow. Taking a moment here to revisit any of those affirmations, to reflect on your practice, and also to extend gratitude towards yourself for practicing self-care and self-love today. When you're ready, come up to a comfortable seat. And together we'll sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale the hands to heart center. (sighs) Namaste. Okay guys, thank you for joining me for this heart chakra practice. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you enjoyed the practice, how you are enjoying the challenge. 
don't forget to like share and subscribe and check the link in my description box about becoming a member of my channel and as always thank you for watching i'll see you tomorrow peace and love